expensive thing to run, but it's not, a, it's not something that you do by yourself. The boat has an enormous amount of sponsors, and they're good sponsors. It, uh, it's taken five years to put this thing together. It's not something you put overnight either. But the cost is justified. I mean, there's a lot of people involved. There's NZ, there's Shell, there's uh, Detroit, there's Western Star with the big, magnificent truck. There's a lot of people involved. That was a beautiful sight coming into the Gold Coast. I couldn't, I never realized I was so, so fond of the Gold Coast until last Thursday. <laughs> so, so what is it like then with the, with the spray sort of up there on the, on the helmet and, uh, and really pushing into the breeze like that? I mean, it must be exhilarating. The noise is quite incredible. At around 100 miles an hour, the turbos become very active. And it just, everything's sort of screaming in harmony. Even though it's very noisy, it's sort of in harmony. But the most incredible thing is just, it's kind of, the boat is designed like an aircraft. If you have a look, there's a hull, there's a hull and there's a wing between the two hulls. And at 90 miles an hour, the boat is airborne. There's only about two inches of the boat in the water. And uh, it's a great feeling when the boat is, is airborne. It takes a lot of the pressure. Physically, Stefan, what does it do to you? I mean, uh, your knees must take a hell of a battering. Your knees, uh, your ears, your yeah. concentration, your eyes, your elbows, everything takes a hell of a battery, including the engines and everything else. But you're in condition to do that. It's not something you just get out and do it. We've been in training for this for a long time. Well, what about the, the four personnel in the boat? What are their, uh, their positions? It's, it is a team effort, and I'm very lucky to have a fantastic team. We have uh, Kevin McCarr, who's a great engine and drive man. He puts everything together. Russell Wright, he's a, he's a navigator. He sits behind me. And Graham Barmer is on the other side. He watches gauges because so many gauges. So everybody has a job to do. And it's really, a, it is a genuine team effort. You couldn't do it without the throttle man. Uh, Kevin, he throttles, and it's very important to watch the waves because if you're not careful, you'll trip it in. For example, in America last year, two boats got killed, two world champions got killed, tripping it in, putting power on at the wrong time. And if you put in power at the wrong time, your boat dives in. And just imagine 100 miles an hour, eight tons with a bullet nose diving in. It sort of decapitates people. So the throttle man is very, very important. I steer it, and I've got to, it's important I don't lose my concentration. Then you have Rusty, Russell Wright. He's got to be really careful that we don't get lost, and especially in the narrows. And he's a great navigator. He was actually sick as we left Sydney. He has enormous stamina. He was sick for six, he was sick for six hours and hung in there. The Coffs Harbour said, hey, mate, if you want to get off, it's okay. He said, no, no, I'm not going to let it go now. <laughs> Stefan, I've done a bit of uh, navigating and rallying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you've got a spare weekend, I may be able to help you out. I tell you what, if you'd love to come, I'd love you to, to come on board. In fact, we're going to do a record run from Newcastle, from Sydney to Newcastle and back, towing some skiers. I believe the record is three hours and 40 minutes, and I believe we can do that under two hours. So we have the skiers, the Robertson boys from uh, part of your world, so maybe you'd like to come for a ride then. Well, no, I think you'd be flying then. What about the colour scheme then, Stefan? Pink. I mean, gosh, there are a lot of different colours in the rainbow, but pink. <laughs> I remember last couple of weeks ago, Kenny says, if you've got, uh, maybe it was you, and you said, uh, with a pink boat, you have to hurry up and get out of the way. <laughs> that was Ken. It's like having a name, boy named Sue, isn't it? You really got to move. <laughs> but I, I don't know why it attracts so much attention. I mean, pink is a beautiful color. What, what's the matter if it's blue or green or red? I don't know why pink has such a, such a negative image. I don't know. I mean, I love the color. It's a nice color. Well, Besides, thank you very much. Besides, it represents the makeup. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like pink. As for me, I guess I'd even have worry with pink underpants. I guess these days. <laughs> but thank you very much. Good luck with your future. Uh, of course, no doubt, a few more records will go down. Thanks for being with us on Wide World of Sports. Thank you.